like a boss. All right, ladies, this is Alex from MindfulAttraction.org, and today we're going to be talking about why nice girls always get played, all right? Now, look, my, nev- my definition of a nice person is somebody who, somebody who is trying to win people over with niceness. When you, tr- when you have this image in your head that you got to be the perfect girlfriend, you know, the, the, the angel and stuff like that, right? When you, when you have this, this, this desire to please someone with the image of you being so saintly, we all know what that is, right? We, we all want people to know us to be a nice person. We all want people to review us as the nicest person they've ever met. And as a result, we sort of, we sort of project what we don't want to project. And we get the results that don't reflect what we want to get, right? And that's why you get frustrated. And let me tell you something, man. This desire to be nice will get you played. It's going to get you played, you know? Because it just, it just, it, it, it opens you up to being played by the wrong people. Look, being nice only gives you superficial results. You know, people will tell you how great you are, but behind that, they'll notice that they can take advantage of you. Not all people, not the good people, but the wrong people, right? And the thing is this, you usually, re- you usually fall in love with those, most likely. We usually fall in love with people who make us feel insecure, right? And most people reciprocate the love that you give. The problem is, is that you tend to fall in love with the people who don't give back that love. You, you know, you fall in love with them. And, and it's sort of like it creates a dynamic where you're chasing them and they're not chasing you. And you could be a very pretty woman, you know. And that's why you'll end up with guys who don't really like you. And people will say, how are you with that guy? Or why are you always you know, in bad relationships. And the problem is, is that you just get triggered when somebody doesn't show you attention, right? Because naturally you believe that to get people to like you, you gotta be nice, that's your belief system. So what tends to happen is that when you get rejected, your natural reaction is to be nicer, right? Because you assume that being nice gets people to like you. So then you try even more. You you give him this, you suck his dick, you, you give him threesomes, you know, you, you do whatever you, you, you do whatever you, you you believe will get him to like you back. You see what I'm saying? And even though it gets a result in the moment, after a while, they gonna go back to being themselves and treating you like shit, and then that pattern will keep repeating itself, right? And being nice will give you temporary results. They'll come back for the moment. You know, they'll say yes to you for the moment, but then they'll return to being themselves. They'll return to keep pushing your wave and that pattern will continue and the problem is is that these kind of patterns you can't tell because you don't have enough perspective you don't have that perspective you you're only going to be able to notice that pattern when it's too late when you're already older or when you watch a video like this look man niceness only brings people to being uh, being nice to people who don't who don't deserve it or to people who don't give you niceness will only bring you people who take advantage of you And my solution for you guys is, for people who are really nice, is to learn to confront people. Be comfortable with confrontation. Be comfortable with with those uncomfortable confrontations. You telling people, hey, are you doing this? Are you trying to play me? Because if you're not comfortable with those moments of confrontations, then that's what they're gonna use to manipulate you. You see, people who manipulate nice people know that nice people struggle with confrontation. So they're passive aggressive with them. And the nice people naturally don't want to confront people because it's not part of their character. It's not nice. You see what I'm saying? And so by being a nice person, you pretty much pigeonhole your actions to certain to only a few things because you want to keep up this image. And sometimes people people call you a nice person, oh you're such a great person, you as a way to manipulate you. So that you don't behave outside of those perspectives. Your parents tell you you're such a nice girl. Your dad tells you you're such a great girl. So that you don't go out there and suck dick. You know, all dads don't want girl. Every dad doesn't want their, their little girl sucking dick. That's the truth, all right? I'm just letting you know that. It doesn't matter what I'm talking about right now, but that's a fucking fact. I don't want my girl sucking anybody's dick. But that's for another, another day. All right? So what really works is, on the other hand, is just being a little bit more confrontational if you're someone who's nice if you're someone who's nice i am not talking about the bitches i am not talking about those wolverine the, with the wolverines that are out there you know the, who, who just love confronting people and who just live by confrontation i'm talking about if you're someone who considers themselves nice 
if you're someone who's being used, who always say, gets taken advantage of, if you think that people are mean, if you think that niceness is, is what brings people to like you, you got to go the other route and be a little bit more confrontational. When you feel like you're being used, take the risk and talk about and, and, and talk to people who are using you. Because if you don't do that, shit, one second. Fuck. Okay, good, good. <laughs> because if, if you don't do that, then that's what they're going to use to keep you there. Your lack of, your inability, your unwillingness to confront them. And that's all. It's just the willingness to confront them, right? And that's how it is, man. And another thing is that when, if, when you consider yourself a nice person, you get attached easier. You see, you got to change your self-image. You got to change your self-image from someone who's super nice, not from someone who's a bitch, but for someone who's in the middle. You know, a nice person who when, who, when they feel like they're being played, will become a bitch. But also, that's something you want to see that in your head on a continual basis. Begin to see that image in your head of that of a woman who is nice but doesn't get played. Like, honestly, like see that in your head. Have have two personalities. Have the inner child, the part that wants to please people, and then have the the bitch, the part that comes out when you get when you get played, right? So that's one thing. Um, what else? So you got that. You got that. Okay, all right. And that's what, and that's that's it for the um, for most of that, right? But. The key is, is, though, is to be willing to confront people. Be willing to walk away from them, right? Because, look, man, me, I'm a nice person. I consider myself to be a nice person. And the truth is, is that, as a result, when I was growing up, I was definitely, I was, I was around people who didn't like me because I was from another country. And I came from the Dominican Republic, and I didn't know the, I didn't, I didn't know the language, right? And as a result of not, know, of not knowing the language, I just happened to meet people who, they don't who liked me, but not that much, right? But I didn't have a lot of friends, so I, well, so what I did, I was like, I just wanted, to, you know, have people who to talk to and stuff like that. So I got used to when I was younger being around people who, who only who tolerated me, and I kind of secretly knew that. But part of me wanted me wanted to please them because my mom said you got to be nice to people who are mean to you. See what I'm saying? And so I was just so it became a pattern where it was a normal thing for me to hang around people who don't like me or hang around people who kind of like me. You know, you, you, you'll start to say things to yourself that goes against the evidence that the person doesn't like you, right? And that became my pat. Oh, okay. That became my pattern for, until my late teenage, teenage years where I started to see things a little bit differently, right? Especially when you go to church. You're someone, you become someone who's very forgiven to people, right? But again, I started noticing how when you do that, you get the wrong attention. People just begin to take advantage of you. You see what I'm saying? And that's how it is. And it's not a good thing or a bad thing. It just is. The only thing that's bad is my perceived results. I don't like the fact that I'm. Um, I don't like the fact that I feel always neglected by the people around me. Right? That's what happens when you hang around with people who don't like you. You know, they're settling for you, and they just don't want to tell you that they don't like you. Right? And that's what happens with nice people. Is that nice people will most likely surround themselves with people who take advantage of them. And those are the people who take advantage of them. To other people, they see how dickheads they are to them, but to the nice person, they just want to have friends, you know? And so that's why nice people that nice people end, end up last because they end up being used. There's always somebody who's more aggressive than you in the world. And those people will go to any lengths to get what they want. And that means using you to get what they want. It's hard for you to comprehend that because you see yourself as a nice person. But this, this, that's the kind of world that we live in. And then you got to open your eyes up to. You see what I'm saying? All right, ladies. This is Alex from Mindful Attraction. Um, I'll leave, go to the link below to see if I'm going to your city. I'm doing a seminar in LA on the 22nd of September. So go to the link below. I'm going to be there in, on, on the 22nd of September. Okay? Anyways, this is Alex. And have a great day. And I'll see you guys there. And um, yeah, peace out. All right, ladies, so this is the course that all of you guys have been asking me for, and it's the Psychological Game of Attraction. This is pretty much the course that will make any man beg to want to commit with you. This is the course that I wish, I'll be honest with you, if I was a woman, this is the kind of course that I want because it, it's, it's a course that's specifically geared to help you understand how guys fall in love. 
and how to do it in a systematic way that's almost predictable, right? So let me show you guys how the, this course is, is set up. By the way, there's a 30 day money back guaranteed on, on this course. So if you guys don't like it, you guys will get money back. Look, let me show you how it's done, right? So it's split up in a few sections. The first section is the introduction, obviously, uh, how, what to expect from it. After that is I'm giving you an understanding of the psychology, the, the psychology of attraction, right? Because you, you need to understand that dating is a game. You need to think strategically that there are certain laws of human nature that you cannot break that and just a few things of why people love each other. You know, it's very important to, to have a realistic expectation. After that, we go into the pre, we, we go into the three phases of every relationship. They, and they all go in these three phases and these phases could overlap each other at times, right? The first phase is the pre-honeymoon period. It is when you first know the person or it is when you're becoming acquaintance with the guy or it is when you guys broke up our, and are back together or it is when you guys had a long period of you guys not knowing each other and now you guys want to rekindle things. This works in any point of the relationship that, that you need to spark interest and curiosity. So these videos are specific for that specific to create curiosity how to get to know the guy the right way using your non-verbals how to create a powerful reputation it's it's, it's tr truly powerful stuff after that is the honeymoon period this honeymoon period is what and is how to get from curiosity to interest to creating a deep connection so all of these videos are specifically geared to that not the 30 no no, no. these specific videos are there for this phase and this phase is any phase you guys are having a good, happy, happy moment. You guys just got back together and now you get, you feel that peak. You feel that, that happiness that you guys felt. That's what this is, right? So these videos are there for that. Creating a lonely fantasy, the preemptive breaker, the triangle of love, using words to control his man. It's, it's powerful stuff. After that is the post honeymoon period. And again, it's, 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 it's a short list of videos because these videos are there to solidify the connection that you already created. So if you're, if you just had an incredible moment or you just came out of a vacation with a guy and everything went well, you better use this phase because if you don't do this, he's going to become disenchanted. It's just how it is. These are very specific videos. And, and, and if you, and, and all you got to do is just say, all right, where am I? I, I tell you where you guys are and you just watch the video. It's pretty much like being coached by me. You got some bonus videos, stop being nice, dealing with the inevitable, how to deal with breakup, how to deal with getting over a dude. This is a, the, the, the how, to, how to overcome manipulation, identifying manipulation, deterring manipulation, defending yourself against manipulation, what to do if you're already in a manipulative relationship and how to avoid them through detachment. It's pretty much an extremely succinct, and laser focused course. Not one waste of motion. That's why I love it. And there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you guys don't like if you guys don't like it. No questions asked people. Alright? And if you guys want to support this channel, this is how you support it. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Alright. See you guys inside.